Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niramas. I'm Joseph and I'm here today with Draco. And we are going to play some Terraforming Mars solo once again on Steam. Now I did play, I think I think this is number 5 if I could recall correctly. So I did do 4 beforehand. But those were actually... Um, I'm just going to check my sound here to see if the sound is okay. That seems okay. Uh, those earlier on, I didn't use the green screen, so I thought it could be a fun thing to just throw myself down here while I play. Just like the stream kids out there, you know, playing uh, Counter-Strike and all that cool stuff. And, of course, um, the live chat is on, so please tell me in the live chat uh, if sound is okay. If, you know, if, if there's any issues with the stream, let me know in the live chat so I can adjust it. Also, let me know uh, what do you think about Terraform Mars on Steam? Have you played it? Um, what do you think about it? Do you play solo? Do you do the solo challenge? Do you play against the AI or against other friends and so on? Right now, it's the sort of the draft is in there, but it's in beta, so you can't play against your friends and play with draft. But I think there's some issues with it. There's some, it you know, it, it freezes and all that. So now, right now, on my laptop here, I'm, I'm not using the, the beta. I'm using the sort of, I don't know what number this is, but the sort of solid version. And so, let's just get straight into it, right? So, um, we'll do a solo challenge. And I have to I have to get everything up here, and then I have to check for if, you know, yeah, if it looks good. So, Foblog or Helion. They're both good. It's, it's like, I think it's like my two, one of, I think it's like my two favorites playing solo with the base game. It's Foblog, Helion. Well, Echo Line is great as well. Um... Let's take a look at the card first, shall we? So what you do is you just click next, and then you can see the card. So then you can go back and change the corp if you want to. Uh, Soletta, well, that sort of points us towards Helion. Uh, Mining Rights points us towards Foblog. Uh, but GHG, Helion, once again. And we have ooh, Lake Mariners, Frogside Power. Wow, that could work out well. Okay, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do Helion. <laughs> I'm gonna do Helion because we can do, we can do mining rights anyway because it's good to get some titanium production going or steel. And then we'll do GHG, Soletta, of course. Uh, we'll skip those other ones there. These are way too late game. But I think Peroxide Power is good because that will help us. That will give us two uh, energy, which we need to lower to get GHG factories, which will give, get us four heat. Which is the same as having money because we lose one money production there on the peroxide power but it's okay Deimos down do you want to do Deimos down i think so because i think we will be able to get some because of mining rights we'll get some titanium production going early we can do Deimos down later on that also means that we can you we get three heat uh, increases three temperature increases and that means that we don't need to spend heat for that we can use the heat as money instead so i think that's a good one so two what is it? Five cards. Ah, seems okay. So let's be done there. And let me just go into the streaming program. Just check so that... Okay, so my BGW Nirmas text covers it up there. It doesn't matter. But the logo shouldn't cover the generations here. That's, that's not good. So let's put it over here instead. And actually, let's just put it like this. Ah, I'm just moving stuff around now. Sorry, people. There we go. Oh, that's okay. Nothing is blocked, and we can start playing, <laughs> which is which is what we're here for. So I think I think first of all we'll do mining rights, right? Right? Rights? <laughs> and we'll go for we'll go for the titanium because I do like to have some titanium in the beginning. Oh, I hope that's not too loud for you with the sound effects. Just tell me in the chat if that's the case. Um, actually, I'm going to check, uh, YouTube. Uh, let me just check. I'm just going to write test. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So the live chat is working. I just want to make sure because there's so much things that could go wrong when you're streaming and it's so boring for the people watching if, if they do go wrong. So, okay. We have some titanium production and we'll do peroxide power to get that energy. And then the next thing we'll do is getting us ours, but we can't do that right now. Hmm. Yeah, we can. Okay, it's 11. It's perfect. I didn't count it out. It's 11 for GHG. So we can do that as right away, lower one energy, but we get four. So we're up to seven heat production, which seems nicely uh, this early because we can use it as money, of course. 
So I think that's it for generation number one. We have the effect there, of course. Um, yeah, let's just pass. And, and of course I have the Draco cap, so and have a drink. <laughs> and let's see, well, it's a bit slow. I hope that my laptop can handle this. I haven't tried to streaming on the laptop before. I think it should do it, it's, it's a new one. Regulate eaters is a good one. That could help us out a lot with the oxygen. So let's take that. Robo construction is pretty good, but I don't know if we're gonna place that many cities, to be honest. Let's just do regulate eaters for now. Um, and also tell me in the chat if you have any questions about Terraform Mars on Steam or Terraform Mars in general. I know this game quite well uh, by now. Uh, or if you have any questions about the channel or anything like that. I realize that I'm looking down all the time, which is a bit boring for the camera, but yeah, that's how it's placed right now. I don't know how to fix it. Well, I could have a camera down here, but yeah. Anyhow, regular teachers. I think we'll just get you started here because that will help us out a lot with the oxygen. So we have an action. We can put a microbe. Or regular teachers. Um, yeah. <laughs> and that's about it. I don't think we can do that much more. So we'll pass again. It's really slow in the beginning, the solo game. Yeah, that's how it works. You can't really do that much the first generations. You do you get some stuff going, hopefully some production. We need to do select, of course, that's obvious. Um wow. This isn't fun at all. There's nothing here that I really Late game, uh, okay, so we don't need special design. This is late game, this magnetic field dome is way too expensive in terms of energy. We don't have that energy right now. Tardigrades is just, yeah, no, done. We're not gonna get anything here. Uh, well, this is gonna go straight to, I'm not even sure what we're gonna do. Uh, Soletta, 35, we can't do Soletta, hmm. Oh, should we raise temperature then? We could, yeah, 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 let's do Demos down then. Because uh, that will get us to the heat bonus. Uh, the heat bonus and also we'll get some steel, which we can use for other cards as we pick them up. That heat bonus is just so good. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, we're gonna take the neutral player and they're gonna lose some plants. So I think maybe we can we do select the next turn? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think we have the money for it. But we're going to pass and it's next generation. And by the way, I can tell you something funny. I, I was at Calcon this weekend in Kalmar in, in east part of Sweden and I met Enoch Fruxelius, one of the designers behind the game. And uh, yeah, I got some inside information on, on Turmoil, the next expansion coming for Terraforming Morse. A little bit of that you can see on the channel. I made a video of that when I do an, like three minutes interview with him. Uh, he couldn't tell me much, but you know, a few things. So let's do deep well heating. I like that. Like insulation is pointless for us. This is a good card in other cases, but for Helion, it's totally pointless. And strip mine is nice as well. That would give us some um, both steel and titanium production. So that's kind of prioritized, I think, to get that one out. Oh, um, so two cards. We don't really have that much money, to be honest, but we have the heat, we can use that. And let's see now, then we'll do deep well heating. We pay with our steel, of course. So we get it quite cheap. And that also gave us a temperature raise, which is good because then we don't need to use the heat for temperature raise, so we can use that for money. But right now I am inclined to do another temperature raise with the heat because then we hit another bonus, so we get another heat bonus, which is good to get to this early. Um, yeah, there we go. I think that's it. And it's going quite, quite fast. It's so nice to play this digitally because you don't have to do all the all the upkeep. That's just, yeah. I mean, I kind of like the upkeep in some games. Uh, in some games I want to do the upkeep because I think that sort of, it strengthens the feeling of the game, right? Uh, which is, is the case in Terraform Mars as well, but I, I don't mind skipping that and just having a quick game. Mineral Deposit is a good one. It is a good one. It's basically, well, it's not doubling the money because you pay 8 and get 10 in steel. Ah, I'm not going to take it because we don't really know. Right now we don't really have a you know, need for steel. Well, we have we have the strip mine. I'm stupid. Um, <laughs> so do we do Seletta? Or do we do strip mine? Strip mine will get us 
two money in terms of oxygen TR races. It will get us four, seven. It gets us basically nine credits each round, each generation, while Soleta gets us seven. So actually, strip mine is the way to go if you do the math, which I tend to do in the solo game. You kind of, it's kind of mathy, but I like it. It's no, it's, it's it's easy math basically, and you don't, you know. There's no time pressure, you're playing solo. If you want to sit around calculating, uh, then do it. Because, I mean, ev not everyone is, is of course, uh, the same level of useness, being used to the game. Now, I'm going to save this for money. I'm going to save the heat. So we can do select the next generation. But now we have some titanium, some steel production going. I really like that. And I think I forgot something. I think I forgot to put a microbe on this last generation, which is, you know, that's terrible. Can't forget that. Wow, such a noob. I'm such a noob. Graco's over here, he's having fun at me for not putting microbes on there. Well, I'm happy that you're happy, Graco. Um, you being happy makes my uh, day, sort of. Um, pets, we're not gonna do that many cities. Plantation, okay, do we have, we have one science tag. It's sort of a cheap, um, it's a cheap a greenery. Oh, methane from titan. We have to take methane from titan because we get two heat, which is awesome. We get two plant production, which is awesome as well. Yeah, we do. Ha yeah, we okay. We're gonna take it. Decomposers. No, 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 no. no. So, um, oh, let me just check this really quick. Oh, it seems to be working here. Um, tell me in the chat if the if the sound is okay. I'm a bit worried about the sound because I. Like the in-game sound, I can't really hear it myself, like how high it is in in, in, in regards to my voice. Uh, so I hope you can hear me talking while I do things at the same time. So yeah, you get the idea. Tell me in the chat if it's okay. Uh, we're going to do Soletta. Uh, so seven, heat production. Wow, that's just so great to get that one when you're playing Helion. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Um, yeah, and we're going to save. Yeah, we're gonna save. We're gonna save up. We're not gonna raise temperature. We're gonna save up so that we can play more cards in the next generation with that uh, heat. We're gonna use the heat as money. Okay, game meat colony. It's a good one. We have. We're going to play one um, Jovian tag. Do we have any Jovian tags? No. We're gonna have one, two. This is gonna be two points at least. But I do like Phobos Space Haven, Haven as well because that's the titanium. Wow. So in, in between these two, I mean, this is three points guaranteed and titanium. They cost kind of the same. I'm going to go with Phobos. Yeah, we're going to do Phobos Space Haven. I mean, I could just get both, but I wanted to take one of those. And let's do methane from titane because that is just awesome for us. That gets us two more heat production <laughs> and two plant production, which is good as well, because we need to get uh, we need to get this going right. And did I forget it again? Wow, that's terrible in that case. But here we go. Here we raise oxygen. I can't forget that thing. I don't know. I don't know why. It's like it's down here in the actions, and it's been a while since I played this on Steam. So I guess that's that's my excuse at least. Uh, you should don't forget things like that. So, Phobos Space Haven is up. We get some titanium production, and it's always nice to have a little city up there. And I think that's it. Um, we have 18 heat production. That's just awesome. Wow, look at that, Draco. Are you impressed? He doesn't look impressed at all. He would probably do this much better himself, but it's hard with those pawns on the, on the keyboard. Okay, Giant Space Mirror. I like that. I like Polar City for the money. We do have steel that we're not doing anything with right now. And solar wind power. Yeah. Okay, let's just do all of them because we do have some resources now. So we, we can we can spend a little bit. We can be a bit crazy. Do some giant space mirror. Why not? Um, that energy goes into heat if we don't use it, which means we get more money. So <laughs> it all works out. And Coppola City, you are up. Six steel. We can spend six steel. That's awesome. And now we're building cities. And I, you know, I said we were not going to build up any cities. I didn't think so. 
Let's build it over here. Let's work on those plants. We need some plants. We need to do some oceans as well. I sort of forgot about the oceans so far. We need to do oceans. So there we go. And solar wind power. Yeah, why not? Huh. And now we're now we're gonna raise temperature. We can't forget about it. It's easy when you play uh, Helion. You just sit around using all that heat as money. But, you know, uh, sooner or later you will have to do that. Uh, and I'm gonna use this one to put a microbe on. Let's not forget that. And I think that's it. We go to generation number nine. So it's just so quick, this game. Um, so let's see. Noctis City. Wow, that's nice. And you know, in this in this version of the game, you can't like in the new version, in the beta version, you can click a button here that says "Show me the map," basically. But what you can do here is you can grab a card and just move it, and then you can see the map sort of underneath there. And I think Noctis is a good one because we can put a greenery in between. So let's do Noctis. Uh, media archives. I don't think we played that many events. No, only one. So that's not a thing. Natural Preserve, well, we would have to play it right away, but we can do that. Uh, it's always good to get the tile out on the board. Never a bad idea. So let's start with Natural Preserve. We can pay with two steel. It only costs us eight credits, really. Where do we want to place it? Hmm. What are we looking for, really? I think... Perhaps steel. Perhaps this. Yeah, let's go for the steel thingy down here. Just a gamble. I don't know, but a lot of cards do. Uh, you know, you can use the steel for a lot of cards, so it's a gamble. Like knock this. Here we go. Two steel, and we'll place this one. Well, we don't have a choice on this one. You have to place knock this at knock this city. But right, we get some plants, which means we can do a greenery now, which means we can raise the um, oxygen. Speaking of which, let's do this one as well before we forget it. So we put another microbe there, we do a greenery. This goes in between our two cities, which is perfect. Because that's two, uh, three points actually. One for the greenery, one for each city basically. But it's the other way around, it's the city that gets the points, but you know what I mean. Then we leave, let's raise temperature a bit as well, shall we? Like twice. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. Uh, it's always hard to assess in this game or on how you're doing. Like, this is sort of halfway through the game, not in terms of generations, but in terms of what we can accomplish because, you know, it speeds up a lot. And I mean, I love having those 18 heat production as Helion, that's, that's great. So basically, we're making, you know, uh, what is it, 6, 31, 57 credits, basically, every, every generation. Do we want industrial microbes? It's not bad at all. But I do like research outpost as well because this gives us one discount on all cards and we get to place a city, which is perfect. So let's do that. Do we want to know how many space tags have we played? We played six. And it counts itself. This is seven. Yeah, it's actually good as well. So let's do satellites as well because, yeah, that makes sense. Perfect sense. And we could actually, we could just start off with satellites here because we can use titanium to pay for it. And that gives us a... Wow, did I count correctly? Yeah, it's seven. Seven mega credit production. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Um, we'll do... No! I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I should do research outpost first because then I get one discount on each card. Wow. Okay, it's kind of later in Sweden. It's like uh, almost 2 a.m. But I was just gonna... I was just, just sitting around in the studio doing different things. And I thought to myself, well, I should play some... It's been a while since I, since I played Terraforming Morse. On Steam, and I thought, why not? Why not, you know, let's live stream it. <laughs> why shouldn't I? Oh, hey, Stefan. <laughs> um, yeah, I might be, I might be the biggest fan of Terraforming Mars on Earth. I admit, um, I'm, I'm a fanboy. There we go. At least on YouTube, there's no, there's no one else on YouTube that's done this much coverage as I have done of Terraform Wars. I did 30 solo playthroughs in real life and then five here on Steam now. Oh, there we go. And Draco is happy as well. He loves Terraform Wars as well. Don't ask me why. There's no dragons in the game. Usually Draco just loves games that has dragons in them. He's really like simple-minded, sort of. No offense, Draco, but you know, 
Uh, he's really, it's really easy to charm Draco. You just make a game with some dragons in it, and maybe the dragons are, you know, having fun, eating some lamb or chickens, and Draco's, you know, he's happy. He doesn't really, he's not hard to please in that, in that sense. Uh, but he likes terraform more for some reason. I don't know why. He likes to watch it at least. He doesn't really play with me because we, I only play solo most of the time anyway. Then we'll do some passing and we go to generation number 10, right? Where am I confused? I think it's 10. Wow, it's so slow. I think it's my laptop. It's like we have to wait for a few seconds there, which it's not a big deal, but you know. Optimal error breaking. You can't play... You. You're not allowed to play optimal error breaking if you're playing the new beta because it's totally bugged in that one. But here we can do it if we want to. I don't think we want to though because we don't really have anything to combo with it. You need event cards that has space tags. Um, oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it's Draco. Uh, I'm I'm Neramas. It's all confusing. Um, or Joseph. I I mean I use both names, which I shouldn't do. I should just call myself Neramas because that's what you know the channel is named. And you know the thing is, if I could go back like three years in time, I would have named the channel Board Games with Draco because Draco is the front man. He's the one everybody recognizes. But now it's too late. I can't change it now. It would have been so much easier. But yeah, I just used my internet name, which was Neramas. Anyhow, um, Ironworks would be nice because we need to rush that. Yeah, we need to rush that. Wow, we need to rush the oxygen. We might not make it, to be honest. We might not make it. Um, we need some energy desperately. So let's do a power plant. And now we're gonna have four energy production in the next generation. So we have four energy, which means we can uh, raise the oxygen that way. And I think, you know, m me being stupid and missing. Yeah, we can play this next time around. I missed some. Uh, I missed some mi microbes there in the start too. I think. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly Jason don't worry about the names it's all about the games uh, we're just here to show you the games and we'll do some aqua fire it's time to uh, put out some oceans get some plants so that we can do greenery so that we can solve that oxygen issue we're sort of having on Mars right now you can't breed on Mars at the moment uh, I don't think you can breed on 5% oxygen I don't know how that works um, but I think for I think this is correct. I think you can breed on 14%. Uh, I think they sort of it's all about science here. Hey Kevin, how are you doing? Uh, thank you, Stefan. Have a great time, you YouTube. Um, okay, so now it's time for some greeneries, which we'll put here. We'll get uh, three points in total, and that will also get us some oxygen and two plants. Then we can do another. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna have to do a lot of a standard projects. It's it's usually like that in the solo game. You can't really avoid it. So we'll just keep getting. Wow, I was gonna say we're gonna do get some more plants, but then we only get to six plants. It might be better to get two cards. Let's get two cards because we have a lot of titanium. If we find the right card, we can use that as well. Oh, like imported GHG. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> this game is so. Sometimes I'm so lucky in this game, it's just crazy. Oh, I get some heat and some heat production. Yeah, okay, why not? Because I'm Helion, so that's like the best thing I can get, which is crazy. Hey, Jay, how are you doing tonight? For for you, for you, uh, Jay Courier, for you it's kind of evening, right? Because, I mean, it's 2 a.m. in Sweden, so I guess, I guess you're like six or something hours uh, behind. Medical Lab is pretty good as well. Do we have any? Oh, we have 10 building tags. Look at this. This is going to be awesome. Well, it's not that many generations left to go. But still, still, it's going to be great. And yeah. Now I'm all confused. I should go to bed. But yeah, we had imported GHG. So we got that. Uh, did we do this? Yes, we did. Okay, I think we're done. Hmm, yeah, let's pass. Go to generation number 12. And in generation number 12, let's not forget, we're going to have to work on that oxygen. Uh, that has to happen. Okay, so 6.43 p.m. Jay says, okay, well, that's pretty nice. Uh, that's a nice time of day. Uh, we don't really need more titanium production at this stage. It's so late game. There's the Joey and Tag, but I, yeah. 
nitrogen rich asteroid this is nice because we can pay with yeah we can pay with the titanium the same goes for important nitrogen so let's get both of those hmm should we also get this one we're almost at the point no we are was it minus 12 yeah we can do this one and getting three plants that could be important than this. okay let's get three cards we do have some money now you don't need to be so tight with the money oh jason is saying that you need 19.5 percent oxygen to breathe if you're a human i have no idea what draco needs yeah he probably he, he, he can probably breathe anywhere uh it's all fire anyhow so in that case let's do this one and we'll pay with steel of course since we can and after we've done it we can do i have to wait for the game my mind works faster than the game. Then we can do medical lab. No. Then we can do ironworks. Right? And with ironworks, we can raise the oxygen, which will be awesome. We'll also do this one while we're at it. Now we can raise oxygen using our four energy, which is perfect. And... Where is everybody from, by the way, in the chat? Um, tell us in the chat where you live. It's just fun to see where people are watching from. Now we'll do medical lab, that's the one I'm waiting for, because now we have a bunch of, we got a steel as well, but we have a bunch of building tags. So let's see, how much money do we get? I think it's six. Yeah, it is six, okay. So my math is pretty on point, pretty on point, pretty much on point. Here we go, imported nitrogen, we'll pay with titanium, and we're gonna get some plants. We're gonna do some greeneries, which, yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, so, yeah, Jay is from Wisconsin. Wisconsin, is that like the, it's like middle, it's the middle of the USA, right? If I'm correct, I don't know. But Wisconsin, I'm just thinking about this, like, you know, this uh, settlers, uh, you know, on the prairie and all that. Um, South Milwaukee. I'm not that good at uh, American geography, but sometimes, you know, you pick up stuff mostly from like films and TV shows and all that, of course. As being a Swede, we watch a lot of that. Um, there we go. And we do a greenery. Makes most sense to do it here. We get two credits and that's two cities connected. So that's good. Oh, hey, Park Hei Chan. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but really cool. Hong Kong, that's really cool. Um, you probably, you know, Draco's been around those, uh, you know, Asia, uh, and so on in his travels as a dragon. I think that's it. Now we do, we do temperature. And yeah, we have some ways to go. We have six more oceans to place. I'm a little bit worried about the oxygen as well, but we are, you know, the TR went up a lot now in this generation, so we will have some money to work with uh, in the next generation. We can do some standard projects. We probably need to do that in the, in the end anyway. And we have Courage85 from Ontario, Canada. That's cool. Canada is so much. I have some friends in Canada. And for me, I think it's really, you know, similar to Sweden in some ways, uh, like this sort of how the, you know, how people live every day. Uh, which of course US is as well, but you know Canada so for some reason I feel like connected to Sweden Big asteroid is nice. We do get some titanium back so we can do that for pretty cheap space elevator I love that one you can sell steel. I'm just a bit. Mm, it might be too late Because we get the titanium production That's a big part of space elevators and we don't need that at this stage because this yeah There's only, there's only one production really to go. So let's just do big asteroid Well, was it good? Oh, cool. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think overall, I, I some people are like afraid to pronounce names if they pronounce it wrong. It's like embarrassing. I just try. If it's wrong, it's wrong. I mean, there's not not there's no offense meant in in any way. So, um, you should always try, I guess. I mean, I don't I don't mind if people pronounce my name wrong, which. Of course, Joseph is the English ver version of my name, um, so that that's like I converted it to English because it just makes more sense when I talk English. 
And more oxygen to come. Here we go. Two steps. So we can do... We can do one more step. For free, sort of. Or for energy in the last generation. And we have some plans. Yeah, I think this is going to work out, actually. Um, I think so. Because we'll do a greenery. And we'll place it up here so we get some money as well. Next to the ocean. And I am excited for one of the uh, corporations that I got a sneak peek of, or like on the video uh, that I posted the other day from uh, Fruxilius, was the a new corporation from Turmoil that got three uh, credits every time you place next to an ocean. So that that's the Lakeside Resort, I think it was called. It was in prototype, but anyhow, it looked cool. So I think we'll just do we'll just do another aquifer. Um, makes sense. And we go for plants, I think. And I guess we do another one. So we're gonna be, yeah, we could get to, yeah, we're getting to six plants here, and then we get two more in the production, which means we can do greenery next time around, which is good. And we'll do one free oxygen. So I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. We're gonna do some temperature racing here as well. Uh, we have so we have such a good production on the heat, so I'm not worried about the heat. Uh, so I'll do, let's just keep going. And the nice thing with Helion is even if you hit that top, it doesn't matter. You can use it as money. I, I keep saying that, but I just love Helion. And another aquifer. Why not? Uh, the thing is, though, in multiplayer games, I never won with Helion. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but it comes down to... Well, I won, on the, I won on the Steam, actually. But not in real life. It's been like a year since I played Helion in a multiplayer game though, but anyhow, uh, maybe it was just me not being that good, I don't know. My friends my friends are really good at Terraform Mars in, in multiplayer, they play a lot, um, and they are really good at strategy games overall. So I'm having a hard time in IRL to beat them. <laughs> um, Arctic Algae is, I love this card, but it's, it's late, too late of course. It gives you plants when you place an ocean, but we only have two more oceans, so it doesn't make sense at all. And you, I can't even play it because it's you know maximum 12 minus 12 degrees. Doomed crater, I can't, I can't play that either. Energy tapping would get me a minus point, makes no sense. And moss, sort of. Hmm. No, I will lose the plant. Yeah, I'm not gonna get any of these. I'm just gonna do standard projects for the last uh, generation. Um, and I'm gonna make it as, as from what I can tell right now. Oh, I don't want to say too much because it's, that's embarrassing if I'm being cocky and then I end up losing. So I don't think, let's see, I can't recall this one. Uh, no. Yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, we can do that. You can see your card resources down here as well if you want to look. And then we can do this and we're done with the oxygen, which is great. And we're going to do this one here. The thing is, we're going to end up with... We're gonna end up with more money. Well, like, yeah, maybe I should have gotten. I should have gotten pets. Probably I should have taken pets because I put up three, four cities after that. That would have been two points, or even more. Two points, I think, if I recall correctly. I think it's a half a point per city per animal because you get a pet every time. And let's just go over there. And I think we could maybe go for a card on the last one. Uh, I usually do that because there's not that much else to go for. So let's just go for a card here. Um, and oh, we get way power, which is actually a point for seven credits. So let's do that. So now we're done. So now we have 35 plus 11. We have 46 credits to do something with. 46 to me sounds like two greeneries. Yeah, that's the best way to make points on this day. We could do a city somewhere. But if I'm gonna do a city, I want to have it next to two greeneries. No, no, it makes more sense to just do greeneries. Yeah, it does. And we'll pay with that heat. And... So do you guys in the chat, do you play uh, on Steam? We could play together at some time. That would be fun to play with some viewers. Um, just, you know, send me a message on some, you know, Facebook or Twitter or whatever. Um, and we'll, we'll, do, we'll, you know, 
uh, schedule a time and play a game against each other. That would be fun. So just let me know. Um, yeah, just put it here. And I think that's it. I think that's it. We didn't. Yeah. Okay. So it's a win, which is good. But usually, with I don't. Yeah, most of the time you win with Helion in solo. I think. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh, I hate this. This is something I hate in this game on Steam. Even if I don't have eight plans, it's it tell I have to click done. I, I'm not gonna put out any greeneries at the end. It should be like automated, so it, it knows if I can put out a greener or not. Okay. So score wise, eight is six. It's not. It's not terrible. It's not great. <laughs> it's in the middle. I should have gotten the pets. For sure, um, yeah. But I, I tend to avoid po like points cards early on because I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Um, uh, okay, so Jason is watching my videos instead of committing to the game because he doesn't have time. I do the same with some uh, computer games. I watch a lot of Rust, for example. I played Rust a lot a few years ago, but. That game just takes up way too much time. I, I'm just getting stuck in that game, so I can't play it. I have to like, no, I, I don't have time for that. I need to work. I need to, you know, film all that other stuff. Um, so I watch people playing it instead on YouTube. And you know what? Um, I'm kind of feeling for another game. So I'm just going to start up another solo challenge. I'll just call this one playthrough five and six or something because it's fun to live stream. Okay. Mining guild or Tharsis. The Tharsis is all about cities. Mining guild is nice. I love having, you know, yeah. Okay, let's check out the card first of all. Yeah, the cards determine industrial microbes. That tells us we want to do a mining guild. Do we have any cities out here at all? No. No. Did I do mining guild? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do mining guild. Um, restricted area is fun as well. So that one. Um... Mm-hmm. Arch bacteria is nice. It's such a cheap plant production, but you need to do it early, which I don't mind. IO mining industries is the most expensive card in the game in the base game until the colonies hit. And but it's yeah, it's worth it, I think. And you know, after you, if you play Helion like I just did, and then you go play something else like Mining Guild, I'm gonna feel so poor. It's gonna be so hard in this game. I'm gonna feel like I don't have any money. <laughs> yeah. I do have some steel though, but yeah, it's it's really rough on your mind because you just had gotten used to. Ah, I can use the heat, then you can't. So let's do. Uh, let's start with this one. We want to get as much, you know. Of course, uh, we want to get some steel production. I also get some steel production when I do a placement, which is why a restricted area is really good because it's a placement. It's a, it's a tile that we can place on the map. And where do we start then? Okay, we don't want more. Oh, yeah. Should we go? We should just. I think we should just go all in on steel. Let's just do a. You know, it's a gamble because we don't know which cards we're gonna pull out later on. But there we go. And I can't do these ones now. The action is to draw a card, which we'll do. And hopefully, I think it's a good choice with mining guild. At least, what did we get? We got viral enhancers. Um. This is not bad. When you play a plant microbe or an animal tag, including this, you gain a plant or add a resource to that card. So this is a way for us to get plants. And we're gonna play this one soon. So yeah, it's, it's really cheap as well. But I think that's it for generation number one. I'll just pause. Um, yeah, okay, take care, Jason. Nice having you in here. And also, the good thing about these videos is that, of course, they are, you know, staying on YouTube after I, even after the live stream, so you can also watch them later on, uh, which I tend to do with, with some other channels as well. I watch a lot of live streams after they are live broadcast, like yeah, the Dice Tower. I watch most of their stuff, but uh, I usually can't watch them when they do live streams uh, because it's weird hours for me. Medical Lab. Uh, I think we'll do Medical Lab because we will... The goal is to play a lot of steel, or use a lot of steel, play a lot of building cards, getting a lot of, getting a lot of building tags, which means mining, me, min, 
medical lab is really good later on. So let's do that and just save it. And uh, we'll use it later on. And then we can uh, save up on some uh, building tags. But now we need to do, let's see, can we do that? No, we can't. Wow, it's one, wow, one credit away. I want to do viral enhancers before I do arch bacteria because then I get a plant. But the problem is I only have 14. This is going to cost 15. Ah, uh, no. That's, that's, oh. I'll draw a card instead for two. I guess. Um, predators. Oh, now Draco's in. <laughs> Draco's excited. This is a bear. Um, yeah, this is kind of worthless in it's solo. I think. I mean, there's some cards like this one gives you one one VP for each animal on this card. So if you have like pets, who is like a half a point, then you want to have the predators eat your own. Uh, pets that sounds terrible with those little white dogs, but you know anyhow uh, It gives you more points <laughs> so, so I guess it's okay then Draco doesn't mind he likes to eat small dogs. Oh, no, 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 he doesn't he doesn't sorry. I'm just kidding Draco's a friendly dragon. Yeah He likes meatballs um, Which is meat obviously of course, but hide raiders doomed crater that's that's a good one. That's a good one. We do have one energy. Wow, let's do this one. Wow, do we want to do robot construction now? Yeah, because we want building tags and we might build some cities. Well, we ob obviously we're going to build at least one city, right? So, so that makes sense. And so now we want to do. Oh, I have to choose. We can't do it all. I guess we want to do Doomed Crater, actually. Because that gives us three money production, which is really nice. We need to get that going, since we can't use the heat, right? And we'll go over in plant land, I think. So, let's see. It's always The best one is to do, if we get Noctis, the best one is to go here. And then Noctis, and then one down here as well. And then a, a greenery in the middle, of course. So let's go for that. And yeah, that money is going to be important. We need to work on the money now. I didn't really care about the money that much last game because we had helium, but um, now I need to do that. And is that it? No, we can draw a card. Let's draw a card for two. I don't mind drawing a card for two. It's a random card for two instead of like a card that I know for three. But still, there's a lot of cards that's good. Kelp farming is not that bad. Because, once again, we have that thingy going where we get plants when we play something with the plant tag. So, yeah. That's not bad at all. But you need six oceans, so yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, I, would, I wish we get Arctic algae now. So we can just start doing oceans to get the plants. That would be nice. Um, can we get that lucky? No. Um, red suits... We're in generation number four. If we play rad suits, we need nine generations to make profit. We do get a point, but it's no, it's not going to be worth it. Space station is nice. Getting a discount on space tag. We don't have. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to get any cards. We don't have that much money, to be honest. So we need to be a bit conservative with that. Um. So. Oh, misclick. Do we want to do? Oh, we should have done rover, rover construction before we did the city. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. I should go to bed. But you know what? I think we'll do... Should we do medical lab? Where are we at? We have four. Okay, we need one more building tag before I allow myself to do medical lab. So let's do rover construction mainly for that building tag. Because that does make sense. Uh, I don't use overlays when I play... Um, well, this good overlays, this really good ones, like I think Broken Token has these wooden ones, they look awesome and you can see everything clearly. My friend has these plastic 3D printed ones and they are like totally black. And I think it's so hard when, when you have that on to sort of see where you're at in production. So then I just rather play without them. I don't really need them. On my player board, I do have my, I have magnetic tape and magnet, magnetic tape on the cubes, on the production. I have done a video about that as well. 
how I did that. Um, so uh, that works out pretty good. And uh, also I think at some point, I haven't done it yet, but at some point I am going to, you know, pay the pay up and getting myself a broken token insert because that would be nice. But it's, it's quite uh, expensive, so I haven't done it yet. Um, there's also like 3D printed inserts that are really good. Uh, I, I hope I can get one of those. Actually, I have contact with a guy in, in the US who's doing 3D printed stuff. And he was, I think he will send me one of those at some point. And I will sort of uh, show it on, on the channel so I can, you know, he can get some um, marketing for his web shop. Here's an um, air braked ammonia asteroid. Yeah, you know, this game we need, yeah, we need to work on the heat because we don't have any heat going in right now. Oh, okay, so I'm just thinking here. So, yeah, we have some money production going, but I was, yeah, we're just gonna have to pass, but mm, we need some heat production. Um, we really do. We need everything. <laughs> That's like at the beginning of the game. You need to do everything. Um, and I was planning to do the IO mining in the streets early on, but I haven't gotten around to it because it's so expensive. So should we go into Vesta Shipyard as well? I want titanium production. I want adaptive lichen as well. Wow. This is hard. I'm gonna go with Vesta Shipyard. Uh, I think titanium production is more important than plant production at this stage of the game. So let's do that. And also, let's do arch bacteria. We do get some plant production and we get the plant as well because of that uh, card we have there. What's it called? Uh, I said viral enhancers. Yeah, it's viral enhancers. Yeah. Okay, by the way, while I'm waiting for the computer to do its thing, I can tell you that on uh, the Gloomhaven, which is one of my favorite games, is coming on Steam as well in, in a few months here. Oh, we got Noctis. We got Noctis. We're going to get the oh, Mohol area for sure. Well, sorry, I'm, I'm sort of off topic here, but uh, I, got, I got excited. Such a good thing is here, and that one will let us play Noctis. Wow, perfect. Okay, yeah, so Gloomhaven is coming. And I'm gonna play that a lot. I'm gonna play that like crazy. So my plan is sort of because like I there's also another thought about behind this that I'm gonna tell you. I don't want to like clog up my channel with a lot of these digital board gaming board games um, because you know a lot of people you know like myself like before this came out I wasn't that you know keen on on digital board games. So I don't want to clog up the channel too much with that. So I have an idea on when Gloomhaven comes out on Steam, I'm going to start a Twitch channel. I'm going to start a Twitch channel um, and basically do digital board games with Niramas. So I'm going to be on Twitch uh, and, and doing digital games, board games. So like Gloomhaven and Terraform Mars and a bunch of other ones. Um, oh yeah, the expansion is coming up for Gloomhaven as well. And... I know I met I met the designer Isaac Childress on at Essence Spiel. I did an interview with him where I was like totally overexcited and the interview wasn't that good because I talked way too much. I'm, I'm yeah that was terrible. But anyhow, uh, I got a, a little I got a little sneak peek there on the on, of the expansion. the The only thing that saddens me about the expansion there is that you have to have played the full game to the end before you can play the expansion, and I'm still like. I have, I think I have like 15 or 20 scenarios left and I'm a bit hesitant to pull that up on the table because it's so huge, there's so much to, oh, wow, I would like to do it, but, oh yeah, it's expensive as well, but Seven Continents is my most expensive game, uh, that was like, what is it, like 300 euros in total for like more actually, for all the expansions and all that, back to everything, I waited for those expansions as well. I'm really getting off topic here with Terraform more, sorry, but I'm really excited for Gloomhaven on Steam and Seven Continent expansions. And both of them means that I'm going to be filming more, because Gloomhaven I'll do the uh, digital board games Twitch channel and also the uh, 
some content expansion I'm going to play on, on board games with Niramas on YouTube. And I'm going to do a solo playthrough series there as well. Um, that's going to be fun. Though, even though that's, of course, it's spoilers. That's the whole issue with doing that. So, uh, Electro Catapult. I love that one. Selling plants or steel for seven is awesome. We need some energy to do that, but we could get that with nuclear power, which will lower our money income by two, but that doesn't really matter because we're going to get seven each round by doing that. So it's okay. I'm, I'm stacking up on way too many cards now. I have, I have a lot of plants going on at the same time, and that's not a good idea in the solo game. Let me tell you that. Um, that's, that doesn't work. So <laughs> let's see how this goes. Uh, we won the first one, though. So, you know, feeling a bit better about that. I can, I can gamble a bit here in the second playthrough of the evening because I did win the first one. Then we do Electro Catapult. And now we can sell steel and plants. We just, I just used all the steel. But I can sell a plant, it's okay. I'd rather sell steel, but you know. Um, okay, so we get seven credits back, which is nice. And yeah, that's about it. I'm really hesitant to keeping predators. Uh, I'm gonna sell some cards. I hate having cards around that I'm not gonna play because that just clogs up my mind and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna play this at some point <laughs> in the future. But that, you know, that time might never come. Um, Tropical Resort. That's, that's not gonna work out either, but it's a, you can use steel. Okay, let's just sell the predators. Sorry, Draco, no bears. Oh, Star Wars Armada, wow, yeah. I know we've been like chatting about that earlier on as well um, in the comments, I think, about Star Wars games, and I do want to try out Armada at some point. I, I'm going to try out X-Wing someday here as well, because they do play that at my local, you know, at Lara Games, my local friendly game store. But um, Armada looks cooler. I like the big ships. Really cool stuff. And they come pre-painted, right? Or like at least some of them do, so. I don't have money for that. There's no way I can pay for, for having my mother. Um, I will stay on the ground. I'll do Imperial Assault, Star Wars Destiny, Star Wars Rebellion. And at some point, maybe, you know, when I get uh, older, when I get retired, maybe I can have time and, and money for playing Armada. Ironworks is pretty good. Ironworks is good, but I mean, as I said, I have too many plans at the same time, and I'm not going to make it as it looks now, so I can't buy cards. This, how many cities do we have? We have three. Martian Rails will get me three cash for a energy. I can do that like six times. That's 18, the 16. No, it's not going to be worth it unless we play more cities, but we don't know if we're going to do that. It all depends on situation. Now we're going to sell some steel at least, not plants, because we need those deer plants and we have some money so mohol area that's a priority right and we can also place this tile i mean when we place the tile we also if we place it like here we get some titanium and we get a steel production because we're mining it so that's good um tropical resort if we're gonna play it we need to play it now otherwise it's not gonna pay off because we do get that we lower our heat production which is kind of sad but we get three money production which i think is nice let's look at a card or get a card as well getting a lot of random cards in this game <laughs> i don't know if that's okay nuclear zone is good another tile placement yeah minus points but you know we need to work on that temperature it's not looking good uh, i don't think we'll make it this time we're going into generation number nine and if we compare this game to the last game, I was like halfway on the oxygen and the temperature at this stage. Uh, and now I'm not. I barely moved it. Um, wow. Commercial district would be nice. That would be good. Uh, search for life? No. Well, there's some fish. Could have had taken those if we kept the bears. The bears do eat fish, which makes total per you know, thematic sense. But we didn't. We got rid of it, so... And we couldn't do all that anyway. I'm, I'm trying to do too many things at once here, which is often the case uh, when I play this game. Um, but, you know, that's what's fun about the game as well. 
We'll do the commercial district right there. We get some money right away well, in production, and that's going to be two points as well. And okay, so if we do IO mining resort, that's what is that? Six? That's eight credits each round. Ah, uh, yeah. If we're gonna do it, we need to do it now. You know, as early as possible. We can use the titanium that we got earlier on there. And now we get some titanium production, we get some money production. We're up to 17 in money production. That's pretty good, actually. That's that's pretty good. Um, but that's it. Can't do anything else. And yeah, I'm worried about terraforming. The terraforming is not going great. I'm sort of like building my engine right now, but you can't build your engine for 10 generations. There's not going to be enough time to run the engine and, and pull this off. We have to do convert from Europa because we need that ocean. It's cheap. Well, it's, yeah, it's an ocean and a free card basically in money cost. And we can use titanium, which is nice. And now we raise the temperature for the first time. Wow. First time in the game. That's way too late. Uh, let's sell some steel. And should we, yeah, I guess we draw a card right away. See what it is. You should do like, if you have a card drawing thing in a game that is uh, based on cards, you should draw the card, <laughs> the first thing you do, so you know what you have to work with. Mining rights is perfect, actually. Thank you, uh, because that gives us, let's see, we pay for it with steel. And we'll put it down here, we get some titanium production and some steel production, because we're mining guilds, so we get the steel production every time we do that. Put a tile on steel or titanium. So that's a good one, that's like one of the best ones you can get when you're mining guild. We do a uh, nuclear zone, and once again we'll get some steel production, because we're going to place this somewhere where... Um, like up here, um, where we get some steel, and that gets us a steel production as well. And that's really important to get that up there, get the heat bonus. You never know, we might pull it off. I mean, it's not looking good, but it's, it's, it's far from over. Um, we do this with titanium. Wish we had somewhere to place those microbes, though. But we don't, so they're lost in space. And that's it. We have 11. Hmm, can't do anything. So, hey Zane. Oh nice, Zane says his favorite game is Terraform Mars. The same goes for me, of course. Love this game, you know, especially with all the expansions on the board. But I like it on Steam as well. It's okay. I just wish, you know, I just wish they, they put out all the expansions really fast on, on Steam. But it's going to take a while. And I'm not blaming uh, the publishers. I think it's actually Asmodee Digital that it's slow, to be honest. Uh, that's 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 ex at least that's my guess, is that they are a bit slow. You know, it takes time to convert everything. But I think like the I want the maps, uh, the helium elysium maps. That shouldn't be that hard to do, to do. I guess I don't know. I'm not a programmer. I don't know. So let's do large convoy because we get some cards and plants and ocean. <laughs> So many things happening at once here and we're gonna do go here to get some even more plants so we can do greeneries because things needs to happen if we're gonna survive this um, and invention contest open city open cities way late game ah uh, let's do convention this one this is good to get three cards to look at and choose one Oh, greenhouses, I think, is the way to go here. I think it's the way to go. There's five cities out? No, four cities. That's also something I would like to change, if I could change something with the Steam game. The, whatever it's called. Oh, I can't zoom in. The thing there that I put out, these centers, commercial districts, it's called. It kind of looks like the cities. Which is annoying. I would like to have it look differently so I don't get it confused. Digital Gaia Project. Yeah, I think it's going to come. Because we have Digital Terra Mystica. And to be honest, I'm... Well, I would like... I would play it, of course. <laughs> I love Gaia Project. But at the same time... Uh, I mean, the, the only downside with digital games, in my opinion, is that you can sort of... You play it too much. And then it, it's, it does, it's not as fun any, as it, you know... You can play it too much, like Dominion. I played Dominion like 200 games on on internet, and when I play it live, it's like yeah, I played it a bunch. 
Um, so I mean, playing Gaia Project on Steam or you know digitally, that would make it so that when I sit down, like a few times a year, when I actually get sabotage is worthless for us. Uh, when I get the chance to play it with my friends, it wouldn't be as fun, I think, because I would have played it so much already. I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. Um, but yeah, of course, I'm not gonna say no. If they put it out, I'm gonna play it, of course. Uh, one game I was planning to film and play was Evolution. They put out Evolution on Steam. And I was gonna film it, but I was kinda, I was in contact with the, well, now I lost the name of the publisher. But I was in contact with the publisher because they were gonna put that out. They emailed me, asked if I wanted to film it. And I said, yeah, sure, uh, I would love to. I like Evolution. Um, but now I never got a code. I haven't gotten a code yet. So, I mean, I could just buy it for myself. But then, like, if I buy it, I'm sure that the next day they're gonna send me a code and then I can give away the code, of course, somewhere. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna pick it up and play Evolution. I heard many good things about it. I think it's a week ago or so that they released it, so it's quite fresh. Um, I th I, most of all, I like Evolution for the theme and like the the setting, like evolutionary animals and all that. I think that's fun. Um, but it's quite good as a board game as well. Yeah, Solo gets a bit uh, old after a while um, with most games. I, I mean, I played this one a lot. I think I played... I probably play like 200 games of solo Terraforming Mars on Steam uh, because it's so quick and uh, you know around Christmas time I just play this you know a lot but lately I haven't because I've been you know doing so much other stuff I've been playing a lot of Keyforge obviously um, so sort of tonight is sort of fun for me because I'm getting back to this one um, but we're gonna lose I'm I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose t this game actually because there's not going to be enough time. Like even if I, you know, now, even if I get some money, a big asteroid's going to help. Mining area is too late. It's too late to get more production. Pets is too late. Oh, I don't really know if I did anything wrong here. Well, of course you can always, you know, play better, but it's also sort of how the cards fall. Um, I did get some production going early. I have a lot of steel, so. I did that right, but let's see. Do this one for the temperature. I'm gonna need to be lucky with the card draws here from here on out if I'm gonna make it. Um, let's draw a card. Let's see what we get. And geothermal power is not what I'm looking for. Because I don't really need energy at this stage. Oh, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's see. I do have a lot of, you know, I have a lot of money. I think I should invest that money into aquifers. Uh, because that will also get me plants. So it's sort of double effect. Because I get the plants, I can put out the greeneries. And I think we'll build down like this. And now we have a perfect spot for a city over here. But of course, we might not have the money for it. But of course, we could do open city, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, there's so little time left to go. Um, so I don't know. We're actually going to do geothermal power, actually. Because we have... We have a bunch of steel that we're not using for anything, so why not just use it? We do get that energy that goes into heat. Uh, so, th so that's pretty good. Um, okay, so action-wise, so another aquifer, I guess. Wish we had gotten an Arctic algae in the beginning. That would have helped so much. And we'll have to pass. Generation number 13. Here we come. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We'll have to wait for the computer. Oh, standard projects. Love this one. This is going to pay off because we have to do standard projects. Great dam. It's not going to work out for us. Magnetic field. No. Nitrogen rich asteroid. I 
think it's it's kind of too expensive but at the same time we have a bunch of titanium that we're not really doing anything with so yeah let's pick it up um the mostly because of that and we're selling steel of course and we're gonna draw a card as well to see what we get um could be good let's see we're gonna have to gamble a bit here in the end as well cloud seeding hmm. oh wow it feels like everything is sort of too late but i'm gonna keep trying uh that's something i always do in this game i never quit before the end of the game because i want to see how far can i take it um can i somehow pull that off uh you know sometimes i think it's uh, i'm done for but then the right card shows up i get some ideas and i can figure it out in the end anyhow so yeah and i do that with all games like if i play key Forge, if i can tell early on that i'm gonna lose i'm really doing bad i don't quit i keep trying even though that doesn't happen that often to be honest i'm, I'm doing really good in key Forge. i don't know why fits my brain for some reason um i sort of think it has something to do with the game being a bit euroish sort of collecting resources uh it's a big puzzle let's draw a card uh let's hope that we get some good cards and optimal error breaking is not bad in this situation because we do need that heat but we we're gonna wait we don't know if we get anything that we can play it with Teutonic Stress Power we are going to play because we can play with Steel. So there's no reason to not play it. We don't want to sit at the end of the game with 40 Steel. There's no point in that. So, I mean, Energy, yeah, it's not going to do that much for us. But now I sort of wished I had taken one of those Spend Energy to uh, raise Oxygen cards. Those would have been nice uh, right now. I'm going to do some temperature here as well. But I didn't. Um, I think I'm talking too much and playing too little. But yeah, I mean, it's all about having fun. So I am having fun. I hope you are as well. Um, so we will pass, and it's the last generation. And it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. But yeah, I'm not even sure if we're going to get close, even. I mean, we don't need steel. We don't need. Discount on our tags, Lake Mariners. Wow, this is a this is too cheap. This is you know half price for an ocean. So yeah, we want that. And we're gonna sell steel, and we're gonna draw a card. Let's just start there, so we know what we have to work with. It's always a good idea, and I wish the game was a bit faster because you know have to wait for it. But yeah, I should chill out, I guess. And. What did we get? We got Soil Factory. Well, it's a point and we can pay for it with steel, so let's go. But, you know, the plant production is not really going to help us. It's going to be like... Yeah. Yeah, it's not going to help us. Uh, optimal air breaking is not going to help us. We need to raise the temperature so that we can play Lake Mariners. But the oxygen is never gonna, you know, we're never gonna catch up on the oxygen. That's not gonna happen. Which is a bit sad, of course. Um, I wish we had gotten standard produce earlier. Uh, because if I do, I tend to not get as many cards because then I go for standard produce more instead. Because, I mean, getting three credits back on each standard product, that's really good. Especially like on the temperature, that's 14, that's 11 instead. Uh, yeah, that's just great. And now we get to place an ocean and we go to zero degrees, which means we can do three oceans in total here uh, before we're done. Because we're going to do the um, Lake Mariners as well. And I think we don't need two more plants. It's not going to help us. We're going to, I think, instead we gamble on a card. Uh, and we'll do this for money. Place one ocean in between two others, get four credits. And let's see what we got. We got towing a comet. Oh, we can pay for it with with uh, titanium. And we do get both oxygen and an ocean. So Now we'll place it there for the money and the plant. 
And we will get, what is it, two more plants? Yeah, two more plants from that one. And yeah, wow. Hmm. So we place there, we have to go up to level. It's not gonna help. Four credits not gonna help. One plant is not gonna help. So I guess we'll just take this one where it's a card and there's money. And maybe that card can help us out. You never know. Uh, we don't have that much money though. We got trees, which we can't even play. We can sell cards, it's not gonna help us. This game did work out really. Um, sadly, I don't see any way to solve this puzzle. But we tried and we won, I mean, I've, we won the first one, the Helion one, which of course was a lot easier with Helion getting Stoletta and all that. Um, but yeah, this is a loss and I think the score is gonna be quite terrible as well. Uh, let 53. 60 and we had 11. No, we have 17. Okay, so 77 is a pretty good score for losing, actually. <laughs> we had some more things to do, so yeah. yeah, it didn't work out. One win, one loss. I think that's time to call it a night. I'm gonna head to bed because it's, what is it now? It's 2.30 a.m., so I should head to bed. And, you know, Draco needs to sleep as well. He's just a small dragon. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Thank you for uh, being in the chat and, and you know, uh, asking some questions and being around so fun to do these live streams uh, I just enjoy it so much and I hope you li like to watch as well I know uh, I, I think my maybe the it sort of raises the the video that I'm sitting down here in green screen um, in the game <laughs> at least it's cool at least it's fun I'm an old guy sort of compared to those uh, streaming kids so uh, you know I think it's kind of cool with this technology um, even though it's not really new or anything like that Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll be back with more, more digital board games in the future, of course, as well, and more, you know, board games in general. So, have a great evening, morning, whenever you're watching this. Take care. Good night. Bye bye.